So you and Tony Khan had a little exchange on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Called you an irrelevant parasite. <laughs> Are you an irrelevant parasite, Glenn? Uh, well, first of all, what is what exactly is a parasite? That's something that I think leeches, right? And, right. And, 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 right. Yeah. And, well, you know. I know. <laughs> so I'm just doing it. I watch the shows. I do a podcast. Fans mail me, mail me in letters. I answer the mail. And I, I, I review the shows. I mean, so why are, <laughs> I'm, not doing any, I'm not doing anything. Any why are you an irrelevant parasite? <sighs> if you tell me. I don't. I mean, I'm sitting there doing doing your show. I don't think I, that's very I, relevant. <laughs> would, you, would you interview an irrelevant parasite? I guess it's the idea that you're not in it anymore. Right. So why are you talking about this thing? Why are you just giving criticisms about this? Well, the, well, the thing is not. What about all the good stuff they're doing? Maybe that's what they're saying. Right, exactly, but which nobody ever hears, mm. unless you're a listener of our show and you listen to our review and we put over like we reviewed Dynamite. Here's the things we liked. Here's the things we didn't like. You know what goes viral? Everything I didn't like. Right. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's no positivity in like promoting anything I said. Like sports keto was funny. Uh, they would always, you know, take take negative things I say, constantly put them up on their website. So everybody like thinks it's like, I'm just this big hater, you know. But like I have an opinion of certain things. They're pointed. They're kind of like you know. I think they're accurate because that's this my you know. I, I'm not going to say stuff I think is, is well, untrue. You, 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 know? Know, you know the phrase, everybody, you know, the thing about opinions and assholes, right? right? Exactly, exactly. You know, that, everybody has one they stay. Right, but, but, that's just, but that's just me. I just, ha I just have opinions on, on stuff I like. Like, I don't like, um, I don't like college football that much, okay? And I'm going to get it from, you know, college football. Well, why don't you know college football is better than NFL? Well, no, I'm an, I'm an NFL fan. I haven't liked college football in years. I like, I like hockey, I like basketball, I like baseball. I like wrestling, but, like the Atlanta Braves go out there, they, they lose seven to one. What do? What am I supposed to say? This guy stunk today. Yeah, you know. So viral. Disco says the Braves stink, and that's been, like, you know, that's so, been going so that's on in you, sports media for right. ever, for Forever. decades, right? Like as soon as your home team loses and you're listening on the radio, it goes right to the talk show where they're going, "What happened to the Blue Jays today? Right. I just can't believe this." Right. But and I think what happened with with Tony Khan is when he came along, you got to remember like. There was, you know, for years, there was people were hate watching WWE, okay, to the point you go to like remember like at the shows and they quit after like when the fans came back after the um the pandemic, okay, so we, so we went through a period of like six five six months or whatever it was where there's no fans, right? Before that, and it's you know very clear. Remember the fans would just troll the show, yeah. They like you'd have a collection of trolls that would show up at like like every single WWE show. They would they would boo the baby faces. They would cheer the heels. They would chant CM Punk. They would just they would just do everything they can to like whatever WWE was delivering. Trolls in the audience were trying to throw a wet blanket on everything they tried to do, yeah. and you and that's it. So the fans were reacting very weird, right? So when AEW came came along, everybody said it's like oh great, now we have like you know the Thank God we have something other than WWE. Now we have to. So, but the assumption was, okay, we have to be a fan of this. Like this is the anti WWE thing, and all the anti WWE people so started watching AEW, and like, we we have to be fans of this. And I'm like, you know, like, all right, okay, I'm a fan. I'll watch something. Okay, I don't like some of this stuff. It's like, well, don't, don't be a hater. It's like, well. If, you guys did that to the WWE product for like the past like 10 years, you know? So why can't I do it to like this product? I'm just t telling you what I like and don't like. So Tony, uh, I think he just got this, like he got these, this anti WWE fan base, which is basically what they were to start off with. Cause like, you know, where were they drawing from? It's like, you know, it's like the Japanese wrestling crowd, you know, uh, you know, the elite, the, uh, the being the elite show on YouTube and stuff like, like all that community started watching this show. And I just think everybody, they thought that everybody was just supposed to be a fan of this, too. And so all of a sudden, because they got very tribal, it just generated, you know how social media is just, 